Good evening and happy March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation, uh, the day when the church celebrates when the angel Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary to um, let her know that she will bear the Son of God, um, to which Mary's response, of course, after pondering and questioning and feeling uh, a little unsure, is, okay, I can do this. Yes, a paraphrase, I know. Um, but I wanted to simply share something that was shared with me today by my sister-in-law because I thought it was spot on in terms of just what I was feeling uh, in the midst of today um, and a good reminder for us all during these times uh, to think about how God is breaking into our lives even in the midst of this and checking ourselves a little of how are we open to those to those little moments those little annunciations as you'll see so i asked my sister-in-law for permission um, but this is a reflection or part of a reflection she shared today luke's telling of the annunciation the gospel writer luke illustrates mary's call to prophetic participation in salvation history god erupts into the ordinary ordinariness of the life of a poor village woman living in oppressed territory and promises her the gift of the spirit and a life of creative partnership. Brazilian liberation theologians, forgive me on the names, Ivan Jabara and Maria Clara Binghamer note that lowercase a annunciations still happen today. In the midst of the ordinary and the everyday, we are inspired and summoned to creative action and to believe truly that nothing will be impossible with God. So I share that because, um, well, I, th I felt like it was reassuring. Um, again, remembering that nothing is impossible with God, um, even in the midst of our grief, in the midst of our anger and our frustration. Um, and then I just wanted to share one quick story since we are talking about Mary um, and with parents um, and even siblings and people who are around children these days uh, being virtual learning. Um, I think it's a good reminder that are we open uh, to even our little children who sometimes may be annoying or our siblings who may be annoying or our friends or whoever it might be, um, are we open to hearing really the spirit move through them? So today, this evening, we were outside and our, one of our twins, Philip, uh, who we recently have discovered, he can write his name, uh, which is exciting. Um, but he called me over and said, Dad, look, there's a duck. I, I drew a duck. And sure enough, there was a very interesting looking oblong shaped duck. Well, a few moments later, um, I said, good job, of course, and kind of walked away. But I think I was in my head at this moment, probably thinking about anything else besides just uh, the duck, which is all he was thinking about. Um, all of a sudden I look over and he is frantically using different colors and, and still coloring around the duck. And then I go over and he goes, dad, dad, come here, come here. And I look down and, and I go, wow, what is that, Phil? And he goes, it's a peacock, dad, a rainbow peacock. Sure enough, he had made rainbow feathers uh, around the duck and it was now a rainbow peacock. Of course, a duck can become a rainbow peacock. Why wouldn't I know that? Um, so it really was, as uh, the Sarah, my sister-in-law's reflection shares a little bit later on, a graced encounter. One of those times when God was shaking me up. And I don't think you really realize it all the time in the moment, but hopefully you give your time at the self-time at the end of the day to think about those moments. Um, you know, to really remember and for me to remember, of course, a duck can transform into a rainbow peacock. Creative partnership, right? Um, of course, God can make sense out of a mess. Um, of course, God can break into the world in Jesus in, uh, as the son of God into Mary. Um, again, a poor village woman living in oppressed territory. Um, I think the, the, the challenge for me and perhaps for all of us is are we open to this? Are we open to um, those little annunciations when perhaps not a dramatic scenario where an angel comes down and 
is standing right beside you and you're like, oh my gosh, there's an angel. Uh, but those little moments where a duck becomes a rainbow peacock um, and kind of gets shaken up uh, to go, okay, God, you're here. How do I move forward? And how do I help be you and be your hands and feet for others? Or as Mary says at the end, behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. So nothing's impossible with God. Watch out for those little enunciations. I am. I'm trying to, I should say. So thanks to my sister-in-law. Hope you guys have a good night.